Yo yo, how's it going guys? Hope you're all good. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm doing commentary on a UFC video and you're probably also wondering why I'm uploading this before uploading round 3. But you'll get to see why and um, this is actually end of our first first lap on the uh, medium ties. And we come across the line, I think it was a 30.7, something like that, yeah, 30.7. So yeah, I decided to start on the mediums this race and went for another lap straight away because I wanted to improve that. And I had like, a bit of lack of practice coming to this race because um, I did about 15, 20 minutes of time trial practice. Then I jumped on to do commentary with um, Rapids F1 for tier two. So I was lacking a bit of practice, but managed to get, I think, an outlap on the soft tires. So. That was alright, came into the pits, put on the mediums, did that lap and then went on to do another lap straight away to improve it. And pretty good lap so far, we've improved by nearly about two tenths already. And coming into cops, looking at the tyre percentage and seeing like what how worn they are. I thinking about what I did in AOR, I thought it like work one stop by doing even when I did two laps two flying laps and uh, you can see now coming into maggots and maggots nice and tidy about two and a half tenths up I think yeah two and a half tenths up opening the RS about only three tenths off RBZ's time uh, on the softs so I think it's at 29.7 so we're hoping to get a fairly good time in the 30s and going to the last like chicane to go now coming nice breaking nicely a bit of Obviously under braking, but nothing too bad. Traction all right there. Coming across the line with a 30.3, and I was reasonably happy with that. And yeah, 30.3 is not too bad. I don't know if that's better than my AOR lap on the mediums. I'm not sure, but it was all right. Lining up fourth, first of the medium runners. Mike Marshmallow right behind us. Matt is right behind him. Pretty close. Um, the whole grid's pretty close pretty much and yeah just really looking forward to the race it's going to be a dry race so yeah i was just really looking forward to it good to see different drivers up there as well as, well as mastro up in second representing a f1 league i think rbz first for srl reversal third for aor so we've got some good names up here so it's looking forward to be a good race and line up on the grid now just getting ready, just waiting for everyone to line up and yeah, seeing that it's going to be dry, just really looking forward to it and getting ready for the lights now, third light, fourth light, fifth light and lights out and where we go, pretty good start, nice and smoothly, we look in the left mirror to see if we're clear of Mike um, and yeah, we just take the line, inside line to turn one, keep it nice and tidy, run a bit wide but yeah, just nice and clean so far no one no one um no one having any contact basically no one like crashing off reverse actually managed to move up into second and yeah as you can see now i forgot to mention i was running seven five wings this race so i think that's what i ran in aor2 and or no nah, i ran i think i ran seven six in aor so i decided to go seven five for ulc because of the frustration i had in the previous races with the slipstream glitch just on the straight line like on the straights so I just not get anything so I thought I'd just put one wing down on the rear hoping it'll be fine we run right there lose the run on Mastro but not not really too bothered at the moment my my approach right now was that I'm on a one stop these guys ahead are on a two stop I don't need to push the only guy I need to worry about is Mike behind me and Matt is right behind him and as you can see now on the straight now in Rich, Mike in our sip stream and he doesn't gain much on us. So we're good right now. Like straight line speed seems to be alright. Um Yeah, that's all I can say at the moment. And you can see the guys ahead bouncing off now. And as you can see you're probably wondering why I braked early into that chicane and that's why like I just anticipated um stuff like that because like i said these guys are on a two stop there's no point me following right up their gearbox when i'm the first guy on medium tires so for me that felt like net lead so i didn't need to risk anything and as you can see now we're right behind reversal he's in second catching rbz into cops now 
All right, everything good. He's trying to make some, not make moves, but probably spook up his head coming to maggots. All good, nice and tidy. Coming out, Beckett's now. Reversal runs onto the gravel, and we actually had a fantastic run there, but sadly the VSC came out, so. Yeah, it ruined our, it ruined our run there, because I, I feel like I would have got Reversal by the end of the straight, but. Again, like, not too fast because. I'm in net lead, I like, felt like net lead, but as you can see now, RBZ thinks smart, really smart, and goes into the pits under the VSC, and yeah, like for him, that, that, that was the perfect opportunity, and you can see in the minimap there, there's a few more cars followed in, including our teammate, so pretty opportunist move by those guys there, and yeah, they were, they were just going to get about 10, maybe 10 second jump at least because Silverstone's long pit stop and under VSC is pretty good but the VSC ends right there and yeah we well it's about 10 actually and we, we're just getting ready to go and we get going again still we've got the well, thankfully we've got a bit of a gap to Mike at the moment so we won't be feeling any pressure for him anytime soon and yeah just focusing on just Staying behind reversal, and once his tyres go off, we can just start to make an attack. Attack and um, coming out of, I think this is Luffield. Coming out of Luffield now, reversal runs all the way onto the curb. That would have given a bad exit. here. And you can see now, look, look at the, look how much we're gaining on the straight. And look, can we just back off? We just don't need to push. And <sighs> sadly, I was trying to like change some settings there, and I just end up running wide at cop. So that was a bit online, but. Good, look at just how much we gain through here and then we get I think we'll get a really good run here and we have the RS as well. We open the RS in the slipstream and look at the amount we gain on reversal right now and look how the gap behind just doesn't close. So keep that in mind, just keep that in mind that we have the straight line speed at the moment. We're closing the car ahead and the car behind can't have any like that doesn't have any sort of challenge on us. And again, once again, coming on the straight now. Reversal cuts so like cuts us off fair enough and like again I'm just backing off because there's no point and once again look I'm, I'm not even like pushing and I'm catching him he's just it's just his tires going off he's making mistakes and yeah for me like this was fine I didn't like, I didn't I wasn't bothered it's just I'm still the first medium runner and now we get the RS slipstream and yeah we'll take it around the outside now. We give him maximum space. We don't even turn in. We don't even turn that much. Turn him that much because his car was right there, coming into braking zone now. We're in inside line, we keep it nice and tidy there. And yeah, so far so good. Like we managed to get past him, clean move, and leading on the medium tires. And at this point, I wasn't too sure. Like if reversals like. I don't know what was going on because for him to not pit under VSC as well was a bit frustrating. So I was thinking if he was saving tyres here too, trying to do a one stop, trying to take these softs to like lap 10 or whatever to do a one stop. But at the moment, yeah, that's that's what I thought. So I'm in straight now in Rich, reversal gains on us, he goes down the inside, and we keep it round the outside, giving like more than a car's width. And here, this this was frustrating for me because look at this I gave him the space and I'm pushed all the way onto the curb and I back off because if I don't back up look just look at that it just cuts us on and for us like for me at the time I was really pissed off because if I didn't back off he would have still carried on turning and I would have bounced off so I'm actually like quite happy myself that I did back off because I didn't have to back off and I shouldn't have not backed off like any other driver would have never backed off there but if I didn't back off, that would have happened. And for me, that's not fair. It's just, you could say bullying, because that's not fair. If I did that on him, he would have spun off me and then he would have like cried about it to me saying, oh yeah, you turned it on me. So, yeah, that's annoying. But we still would don't, don't like, just look at that. Just how much we gain on the straight. Turn around now and say, look, look how much space I give him. And look, what is that? What is that? I just don't get it, like... I'm driving fairly here. I'm driving fairly here, and I'm just getting bullied off like that. Like, if people are not gonna race seriously, why did why did they even bother turning up? Like, seriously, I don't get it. And moving on to like lap six now. 
we have Mike right behind us and Matt is also right behind him and on the straight now we put it into Rich he has DRS on us and even that even though he has DRS in Sipstream he's not gaining too much I feel like at this point I might like the speed I had on the straights were pretty good and like might get in the run on us now fair enough with DRS and Sipstream now but it wasn't the runs the same runs we were getting on reversal the, the, the runs I was getting on reversal and like the other guys was just massive I was the amount I was gaining on the straight was incredible and I actually backed off most times and uh, you'll get to see now as well coming through maggots and beckets and yeah just, he goes onto the curb it gets a fairly good run to be fair and we again look at this we open DRS rich L look how much we gain just look at that that's incredible the amount we gain and we just back off because we don't need to overtake like I didn't have to overtake because I also remember that how I did one more lap than him qualifying so looking at the tyre wear I was calculating per lap that I think I was get, losing about no oh, I was getting worn by 5 or 6 percent so I was trying to carry it all the way to lap 10 lap 11 so I can go on the hards and have a like be on the limit and you can see now we just backed off we got off the throttle there as we were catching them up into cops and we just back off and even here look I'm literally you can look back there and I was going 80 percent throttle and then I backed off to 50 percent before maggots and yeah like I'm gaining so much on the straights right now but I don't want to like go past yet because I, I still need to save the tyres and if I can just stay in the sip stream like this and save the tyres it's good and look we're just back off there as well for me this was fine like all I had to do was save the tyres through these like high speed corners and when we came to the DRS zones use the DRS to catch back up and on to lap 9 pretty much the same case here and you might be wondering why I keep like running these same things over even though there's no overtakes it's because I want to show you the amount of sip stream I gain on the straight because later on uh, it will be like crucial information to take on and compare it to what happens later on basically and like through maggots beckets now we'll get really good like lines through there and here rich sip stream DRS and just look at this <laughs> the amount we're gaining right now pulling onto the inside making a move staying like on the line give him as much space as possible and we try and spook him that pretend that we're going into pits but we don't and yeah so far so good though just fair racing clean racing I'm giving him the space even when like he wasn't fully alongside I gave him the space and I probably shouldn't have because that's that's how he got the run on me but it's fair racing like I don't mind losing out in battles like that because no one bounces off and yeah that's fine for me and on to lap 10 like just taking different lines right now to save the tyres coming out so I just not like the rear is actually fine but I was still trying to not like get oversteers so if I make a mistake then Matis could get past and as you would have seen there's like as well like how much we gain on the, on that straight and Jeff actually asked us to go on a different strategy he asked that because uh, we're on like 70% tire wear I think that's when it pops up every time and yeah just look at, look at the amount we're gaining right now on the straight like yeah and then, yeah just <laughs> you'll get to see later why I'm, I keep on rumbling about that and uh, yeah, through maggots and maggots now once again, keeping it in standard, and we switch up to rich. Uh, we we'll look behind now. Matis is not actually gaining much on us right now. Just we have the gap, and look, just look at the amount we're gaining right now. I just back off. I just back off the throttle because there's no point catching him. Uh, no point I making a move now because I need to save the tyres. Uh, there's no point me going past because he'll get past me straight away because he's just on much better tyres. He can push. I can't and even now on to lap 11 and I think this is the lap we pit rich and look just look at how much we're gaining on the straight right now it's just yeah like obviously that is a bit too OP like it shouldn't be like that like on this game like on I think sim racing like it's a bit less than that real life it's a bit less than that so it's OP in a way and once again we just back off like 50 meters before we can get to the corner and yeah Matisse gets a run on us because we just back off and 
coming through here when 76% so we just take it nice and easy not like turning too much just saving uh, just basically not overheating the front left otherwise we'll get puncture and now DRS rich now we know that we're gonna pit this that we can no just <laughs> just look at that just getting ready to come into the pit coming into the pits now and seeing here was going as well I decided I'll go in and I did not do like a single like I did not test the speed limit at all because I just did not do any practice so I just braked pretty much like way braked then braked a bit earlier just in case like to not get the penalty and for some reason I checked JG's thing there I was meant to check reversals I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, I, I did actually eventually check reversals. So just checking who's got penalties and just so I can let my brother know. And as we do that, we get jumped by the Williams. So 3.7 pit stop, <sighs> not ideal. Um, the brother like to gets the fastest stop there. I think he's battered reversal. At this. I think anyway, and he comes out or oh, Mike comes out right behind uh, our teammate and uh, reversal. So that's good for us because. <laughs> We can that like, he can try and like hold my cup as much as he can, and yeah, I've seen that as we jump now. For me, this was like I had to like push and get past Matty straight away, and as you can see, there how much we gained already on him on that straight. Yeah, I was I was on a hunt like I just wanted to get past Matty straight away and fall on to catch up Mike, and now that we're on the same tyres, like we hit the same lap, come out the pits equally fresh I could like go for it and now you could just see how much we gain we'll just back off because there's no point overtaking here with he'd get us back on the DRS zone so just follow nice and easy here into maggots Beckett's and not really yeah it's, just, it's all right it's all right line not really making too many mistakes and open DRS now rich this is our chance we'll go through on the inside and we're already like clear of him before we even break so just that just shows how much speed we've gained on that straight and I don't know what Wings is running but me running 75 I think that was enough and as you can see there he tries to put it on the inside but we give him like more than a car's width and we decide just not to turn even though he's not fully inside it's like not fully inside us we just don't turn because we want to give that space that like we don't want him to just bounce off our rear so yeah Pretty fair race in there. Reversal, running a bit right wide there, just battling with Mike, and yeah, this we've yeah we've actually managed to catch up to Mike, I think in like three four laps, and yeah into cops now, a bit of pushing there. I don't know whose fault that was, but Mike backs off, doesn't want to go side by side through there, and we we just follow these two guys, just waiting, just waiting until it's like. Un until it's our chance, a proper chance to go through. We just don't want to risk anything at the moment. Still, like 12 laps to go, and now we get. Look at the run we get. Just look at that run, and yeah, reversal. I don't know what happened to him there, but I think he. Got, I don't know if he got puncture or was spun, but gave him a car's width, and I don't. I just don't know what happened to him. I probably should have asked him, but yeah, like all good so far. Now, now we're in like, I think we're in net lead. Yeah, Mike's leading now, and it's me second, and then Matty's first. So this is really good, like top three, like top three looking really close at the moment, and we gain really like a lot on that straight now. We decide to go down the inside, already clear of Mike coming into this corner, and we stay ahead. Pretty, pretty nice so far. Get a nervous T exit, but so far so good, and we put in Rich now, and. I don't know if Mike was backing off himself, but he doesn't seem to be gaining as much as we would gain on him. And into that corner there, he probably he probably just don't want to risk something, so he just backed off, I think. And coming coming through here, like we're looking good, like we're pretty much doing really good through there, like lines and everything. Like, I don't think I could have done much more. And running on rich now and he's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining and he goes for the move on the inside that's fine with us because I already saw this coming before the race started like it's, it's just a sip through first this track you would have, as you would have seen like how much I gained earlier on these guys 
on the straights, you pretty much no, you pretty much have no chance once someone's in your DRS. And yeah, keeping that in mind, just waiting. Like for me, it was just gonna be like a, a bit like a game of chess. Whoever like does the last move, pretty much. And it was it was gonna go. It was destined to go to the last lap. And you can see now lap 17. And you you'll start to see something really strange but also really common as well it's been happening for the last like 10 races or so and look at this <laughs> just we went rich there and we gained absolutely nothing we turned into standard before we get into the corner we didn't gain like much as we did before like on the straight there like the sip trim and that wasn't as much as we had gained before and now even now look we're running rich on the straight and we're gaining nothing absolutely nothing and I don't know like how could that change within two laps how could that suddenly like just disappear that sip stream and like I, I just don't know how, what else to say really. and look at look at this now like rich DRS <laughs> and we're getting nothing <laughs> we're actually gaining nothing just look at this what is this like I, th I don't know how to describe it, it's, surely it's just a glitch, like this happened to me and Sierra in Abu Dhabi where he had like much fresher tyres than me, like three, four laps of fresher tyres and he just didn't gain anything on the straight to me and then once he got past I couldn't gain anything on him and look at this once again, DRS, Rich, Slipstream and nothing, just literally gaining absolutely nothing and then the only time I'd like gain time is through like traction not even traction actually, it was through just like high speed corners where like it was just down to like the line you took and now again not gaining nothing on the straight and I don't know like what causes this glitch like up until lap 16 everything was running smooth like the slip stream was there like I'd gain, I would gain so much on the car's head and suddenly it's just not there anymore and I, I know that many drivers have had this before in AOR as well, but we just don't know what causes it. Like first we thought it'd be like the weather change or something. Like when races races went from like dry to wet or wet to dry, maybe that could cause some sort of coding or glitch. But like this race has been dry throughout, and suddenly the exception just disappears. It's not there anymore. And Jeff kept talking, so I just turned him off. And after like lap 17 and 18, I was on like party chat telling my brother and like just saying like I've got the slipstream glitch once again. Like there's not the only thing I can do now is push through the corners and hope Mike makes a mistake. That like, the only chance I'll get to overtake is from a late breaking move or just him making a mistake. And just look at like here, like gaining a bit of time through the corners and that and yeah just again like uh, uh, like just I don't know like through here we're pretty good like pretty much keeping the same pace don't know if there's dirty or anything but for me it felt fine and on the straights we'd gain nothing and you can see there how frustrated I am because it's just not working there's nothing I can do I'm doing my absolute best through the corners and whenever I'd like clean air in the race I'd catch up to the car ahead straight away so it's not like I was lacking pace or anything it's just the Cyprian wasn't there anymore, and I don't know. Like I don't know. Like I just don't know what causes it. It's not like my wings. Like I changed them during the race. Like suddenly, or like I don't know what else to say. Like it's not like I'm running like lean on the straights or not open the RS. I'm just look rich Cyprian DRS, and I'm not even gaining much. And the only way I can like get past is by doing something like this and as the rear steps out we just about saved that I don't know how but we just about saved that I forgot that um, I put the brake bias towards the rear so as I came into the corner I brake late and the rear's locked as I was like turning in so yeah it came as a surprise when the rear kicked out but luckily we saved it and yeah even like after that move that, that just spurred me on I realised I, th I was like kind of surprised that he didn't cover the inside there because like the inside line is pretty good through there so I don't know why he didn't like 
cover it, but I wasn't going to complain too much because that was pretty much going to look like my only chance to get past. And coming to the end of now, and as you can see, once again, we're just not closing anything at all. And coming into the field, getting like the best possible exit, and we're literally like pushing this car to the absolute limit. Like, there's no, there's nothing more I can do. Like, I'm extracting everything I can through the tires, through the corners, through the car, everything. I'm using every part of the track. I'm pushing. Like, there's, I just didn't leave anything on the table. Pretty much, that's all I can say. And look, I'm just acing the corners. And get this is like the closest we've got, I think, since the glitch. I want the straight now, DRS. And we're getting nothing. It's actually laughable. We're getting nothing, and this time we throw it down the inside. We we actually like we were actually like really like alongside as I went into that corner, and we banged the wheels. But again, like look at that now. We just gave the space once again, and I think there was a replay. Um, there will be a replay of that later on. But we gave the space on the inside, it was cars alongside where we gave the space and we got through that side by side in that sequence of corners and looking like it's going to be hard to overtake, we throw it down the inside here break and then we just get spun off and yeah like obviously that wasn't the result I was looking for and I was really annoyed with that at the time because I feel like I put my car there, I break, yes sure I break late but I break late I made like the corner it's not like I ran wide and like hit him off or anything I made the corner I was alongside we're like side by side going into the corner and once he turned in uh, my car just like bounced off his car and I spun and there's like I'll, I'll have a replay of that later where I show what I mean where like I was alongside I made the corner I didn't run off wide I didn't run off into him so that's why I was really frustrated because I gave him so much space on the outside it there was like three four cars width on on his outside and he could have used that it's not like like it's not like I didn't give him space on the outside it's not like it was a narrow corner either so he had the space I just for me it was frustrating that he turned that. like from his point of view it might maybe look different but from my point of view it's just clear that space was given but it wasn't given back and you could say like it was a desperate move or whatever but can you blame me like looking at the glitch now that's that was the only way I was gonna get past push through the corners and like gaining so much like not so much just doing pretty much the best and then like on the straights I'd get rewarded absolutely nothing so I had to make moves like that to get past and yeah, I mean, like, that's all I can say. Like, without moves like that, there was no chance I was going to win this race. I knew he had no warning, so I had to get past like that. And it was really like, it killed it killed the ending of the race because if I didn't spun off, like, God knows what would have happened. Like, I feel like we would have battled a bit more. And I felt like at the time when I break late, it felt like I had that corner already, but he seemed to have carried a bit more speed round the outside and sadly for him turning a bit too uh, not sadly for me actually turning a bit too early or a bit too much like got me like spinning but it is what it is it's happened now so it's only for the stewards to decide what they think about it but I will give my view on it what I think about it and so here we break at 100 meter board where we usually break but we trail break nicely and like yeah, just like the, the speed we're carrying, we're pretty much what we was carrying as well. You get to see it much clearer now. So we break at the 100 meter board. Trail break nicely. No lockups. Literally nothing. We're on the verge to making this apex. Like, and then look, out of nowhere, he just turns and we get spin off. Like we get spun off. So that's frustrating, and it's frustrating compared to the battle we had three, four corners earlier, where it's revolves like the rolls are switched and this time on the outside on the, he's on the inside i see him i go as wide as i can give him the space and even here i'm ahead i'm much more ahead and i still give him the space on the outside so that is frustrating i gave him that space and in return i got given nothing back and you can say that my was mine was a late move going into that that turn three but uh, like 
I was like entire entitled to that space. I was alongside, and my car was literally next to his car. So I don't know. For me, it was a fair move, and I deserved more space. But it's for the stewards to decide. And yeah, that's all I can say. Just thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. And I apologize if you think it's too much ranting, but I just wanted to get my point clear. Say like get my point clear with the subscription glitch and also that incident so let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i'll leave it at that hopefully we'll get an aor video out soon and i'll catch you then cheers